it's heartbreaking for the owners. We can usually pull them out of it, but the poor owners feel horrible because <laughs> sometimes they know darn well what happened. Veterinarian Mike Redford revealing the dangers pod poses for man's best friend. The fancy words for it are ataxia, dyskinesia, and some things like that. But basically, your dog's going to be really shaky and unable to walk correctly. He's treated several cases of cannabis in canines, saying while the legalization of marijuana in State 48 isn't helping the problem, the ASPCA Poison Control Center reveals it's seen 231 cases in Arizona in the first 11 months of this year, the first year of legalized recreational pot use here. That's up dramatically from 163 cases last year and only 38 cases in 2015. Dr. Retford says it boils down to one big oversight. I hate to say careless with where the products are kept, pets will get into it. And if they can find it, they will eat it. You want to be really careful where you keep that, uh, especially the, um, the pure product uh, with the THC in it. Uh, dogs do not have a good time with that stuff. It is not fun for them. Dr. Retford adding that your pets will probably show several signs and symptoms of exposure and consumption. Very disoriented. Uh, less responsive than normal uh, to voice commands and to uh, visual stimuli. While cannabis can be a therapeutic for pets, it's not clear what percentage of the products is best. It's best just to avoid exposure to our, our little furry fur babies. Experts recommend keeping your stash in a secured cabinet or high off the ground so your pets can't get to it. And as we head into the holidays, be aware of poinsettias as they can be poisonous to your pets as well. Rachel Cole, 12 News.